As a child, people told me of the magic of Christmas. Reindeer that can fly without wings. Twinkling lights. Steaming hot chocolate. And gifts delivered by a Time Lord. The night of Christmas Eve filled with tangible magic in the air, spiraling around your head like snow. Looking up to the sky to catch a glimpse of a glowing nose. Christmas morning, tiptoeing down to the tree to peek at the presents before parents awaken. The world looks different when you're a kid. What they don't tell you is that things change. Going to bed on Christmas Eve suddenly isn't so difficult. Sleeping in on Christmas morning gets easier and easier. I spent a long time wondering if the magic would ever return to Christmas. I searched high and low for the spirit of the holidays. I looked for it on the pages of old books, in the reflections of tiny ornaments, in worn wooden cupboards that smelled like mothballs, in the drying ink of a letter to Santa, under the glitter of a snow globe, in the drawer of warm winter socks. I searched under the glow of fairy lights, in the musty cardboard boxes of decorations, and between the twists of a candy cane. On this journey, I came across something rather odd. I discovered that the magic isn't something that can be found. It is something that we create ourselves. 